Hello, Stefan. Welcome. We're glad, very glad to have you here. Thank you very much. So, would you tell us briefly who you are and what are you doing here? Um, my name is Stefan. I'm from Germany. Um, I'm working there as a professional counselor for 15 and a half years now. And I'm um, especially helping people who are um, struggling with issues in their male or female identity and in their sexuality. Um, and I'm here to um, share my experiences and listen to the experiences of others. So could you tell me in layman's language, what is schema therapy? Uh, maybe it's the best just to, to offer you a, a short example. Yeah. Um, if a person has um, a date with his boss at work, um, then many people um, experience some kind of fear. So they think about their boss in, in a certain kind of way. Um, they have certain kind of feelings, certain kind of thoughts about themselves and others, and also a certain um, kind of action they um, are allowed to do and um, actions they are not allowed to do. So this is a schema, so the, the person is not free in that very moment, but he um, has only a certain pattern um, how um, this person can act um, or feel and think. Um, and we try to um, help people to understand the typical schemas in everyday life. Right. Some, some people do not only have um, th this kind of uh, stress when they are meeting their boss, but they uh, experience it in lots of situations um, throughout. You mean maybe when they, when they uh, have a job interview and stuff like that? Yeah, but not um, many people, especially with identity conflicts, do not only have it in um, such situations, okay. but very, very often, as long as they meet people, groups, or men or female, they have this um, kind of distress. And then a, 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 such a schema is activated and um, causes them to have um, um, yeah, lots of distress and um, they are not really free how to act. They do not really know what do I need, what do I really feel. So they have to understand what's happening there and get competent um, to be able to um, act in a free way in the future. I see. So how would you uh, say that this will help um, people affirm their male and female identities? Um, in our experience, we see that many um, people who are um, um, traumatized in their identity as a man or woman, um, they experience a lot of shame. Um, and, and so um, and lots of such schemas are activated. Um, and now if we can um, find out what schemas um, they activate and how they can um, get competent for that and overcome such schemas and um, be more free, then what we experience is that their identity process can grow and so they can be more um, self-confident as being a man or a woman um, and um, feel more comfortable when being together with other people. Okay, so if you would allow me to do maybe a little recap, it is like uh, giving these people that struggle with uh, anxieties and uh, all sorts of stuff, it's like a boost of confidence and, and the affirmation in who they are. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. All right, amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Stefan. Yeah.